Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com, and today I will be showing you how to create these awesome hard transitions like ND Transition Spec that we just created. Alright, so that looks really cool. If you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel or you don't have the plugin to create this transition, you can always go ahead and buy this transition spec. It's really cool and really easy to modify. It also includes a tutorial on how to do that. It doesn't require any plugins, it's just video files without a background. Also, we use this exact technique in a different kind of logo reveal for Valentine's Day. Alright, so also really cool, the perfect timing of the year. This is amazing for Valentine or anything that is related to the love story. So today we're going to be taking a look on how to create hard transitions or any kind of other transition like uh, snowflakes or whatever. So whatever floats your boat, you can change it. It's just a texture that we will be using that will be generated as a particle. In this case, we will be using the plugin called Trapcode Particular to do so. If you don't have that plugin, you really need that one to follow this tutorial. So I'm sorry. Uh, you can always go ahead and buy the templates. They don't require any plugins and yeah without further ado let's jump into Adobe After Effects and see how this is done. If you enjoy my videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. All right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. And the first thing that I've done is actually, I looked up a heart image online, which was a PNG, as you can see right here. If I toggle the transparency grid, you'll see that I have no background whatsoever around my heart. I actually really recommend flaticon.com. I really love that website for vector images and icons. So I always head over there. Uh, apart from that, it doesn't really matter where you get your heart, as long as you have a nice quality heart like this one. The first thing that I like to do is uh, create a comp. I will rename this to main comp and actually make this full HD. So 1920 by 1080. Uh, the frame rate can be maybe 60, why not, for a transition. And then for the duration, uh, 300 frames, which is 10 seconds, well actually in this case 600 frames because we are in 60 FPS, but actually just 10 seconds or something like that should be fine. We can actually go and hold control and click over here to uh, rechange that to, um, to seconds. So right here we have a 10 second timeline, just like this. Then what you want to do is bring in your heart in your composition and just check it off. Next, you want to create a new solid layer and rename this to particles and click OK. This should actually be like uh, your composition size. So we'll go to layer solid settings and just click on the make comp size to uh, make sure it has the comp size and click OK. And there we go. Now we will go to effect, trap code and apply particular. Particular is this uh, particle system. As you can see right here, we are generating particles and we want to go to the emitter tab right here and change our behavior from, uh, well, actually our emitter type to a box. So we're actually emitting within a box, as you can see right here. Then I want to change my velocity to something like 10 or really low. You can even set it to zero. It depends on what your preferences are, but I think that 10 works fine. For the emitter size, I like to actually change it to individual. And right here, we can actually make it as um, big and as wide as we want. The reason why I like to do it individual is because I really like to create depth with the uh, size in Z. So right here, we'll enter something like, oh, well, maybe 5,000. And now we have like a really depth uh, view of particles. Then we will open up the particle master. So open that right here. And for the size, you want to change that to something like 10. The, uh, the life random, you can change it if you want to, but I don't really think that it's necessary for this kind of project. 
for the particle type, you wanna use a sprite fill in this case. And right here, you will see that it opens up a texture option. If you will drag this, well, actually open up the texture option, we can choose a layer. And this layer is right here in our composition. So we should be able to select it right here, like .png. This is going to be our source. Just click OK right here. And now we have all small hearts as particles within our particle system. If we go back up, we can actually lower our particles per second to something like 50, just to work with that for now. And we can also increase the size of our particles because currently they are quite low. Something like 50, let's try. Looks pretty cool. Maybe go for 100 and increase the size random to 100 as well. So we have a lot of variation going on. And there we go. For the color, I like to uh, change the color over life. So actually set color at start over life. Or actually random from gradient might work as well. So let's go for a random from gradient and open up the color over life. Right here we have a very colorful spectrum for now, but we want to change this preset to a white to black. And there we go. Now I want to click on my white and actually go for a nice red color just like this and click OK. For my black I want to also open that up and just pick a nice dark red color. So now we have variation in our hearts and this is really going to create some depth within them. For the opacity I like to open up the opacity over life and change it to a preset where they actually fade in and fade off. So right here you can see that they fade in and fade off. The longer they're going to live, the slower they're going to be fading off. That's why I like to set my life to 10 or maybe even 15. Let them generate for a few seconds. So let's say we start right here and let them generate. And actually from the start, I'm not going to uh, fade them in. Immediately they're going to spawn like this. And there we go. Around 30 seconds, I want to actually stop emitting these particles. So go back up, click on the stopwatch for the particles per second, and then move one frame using the page down button on your keyboard, and then set it to zero. If you're actually going to zoom in, you can actually see right here that we now have two particles here, they're still spawning, and right here, zero, so they're not spawning. And over time, they're just going to fade out. Perfect. Okay, so we're basically done. All we want to do is uh, make sure that these particles are off screen. We can actually use this uh, to move our particles around, or you can go all the way to the top right here in the emitter and actually click on the position, click over here. So they're off screen. Make sure that they're completely off screen. Maybe set, change it to like 3500 for the Z so they are not too much into depth and just make sure completely off screen. There we go. Then we want to go in our physics tab. So right here we have the physics master and the air tab. Here we have the wind in X. We want to increase this to something like a thousand. If we're going to play this now, we're actually going to see our particles flying towards the right. And if you want to actually have a thinner line right here, all you have to do is select these two keyframes and just drag them to the left. And that's going to make sure that they're not actually spawning anymore. So now we have a very thin line of particles going over here. If you want to have more particles in the system, but you don't want to go right back here and just change this value uh, to something like 200 maybe, you can also do this with an expression. You can just hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. And then at the end, you can, for example, divide it by two. And now we have 100 particles that will be spawned right here. So that's also a very quick way to change uh, everything in here. So maybe times two, and now you will have a lot of uh, hearts. This is a little bit too much. So maybe times 0.1, 1.2. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. We have our hearts and they're flying by. Maybe one, maybe we want a few dark ones. So we'll go back in our gradient and actually make them pretty dark like this. And there we go. Um, maybe you don't want to change the opacity. We can keep it as it is. So we can actually keep uh, the opacity over life constant. And that's uh, going to make sure that they just fly over like this. If you want a little bit more variation going on in your heart, you can go and open up the turbulence field right here. Increase the effect position to something like 250. 
The fade in time we will change this to zero and the scale I will change to three. Scale is just going to make sure it's not as complex and the, and the movement is going to be a lot slower and a lot smoother in my opinion. The evolution speed also can change to something like 10 so it's a little bit slower and a little bit more in the flow. And now we have this kind of transition, pretty cool. So let's say you want to use these as a transition. What you want to do is actually create a new solid layer. Uh, we'll just rename this to background and put this into our background right here. We'll go to effects, generate and apply a gradient ramp. By the way, if you want to actually export these hearts, I have a tutorial on how to export with a transparent background in video. So I'll put a card on this video so you can go ahead and check that out as well. So we'll change this gradient ramp to a radial ramp right here and actually pick the colors of our hearts. We can actually uh, play around with these. Maybe uh, we want to actually make these dark and these bright. Okay. Well, actually it was the other way around but these are just way too dark. So the corner a little bit less and also this one will brighten this up a little bit. And there we go. And if we're going to see this background looks pretty cool. Uh, we want to play a little bit with the positioning. So now we have a nice background. Now what we want to do is for example, change between titles. So we have a title right here. Make it a little bit bigger. Put it in the center using the align for example and then we want to duplicate this title and actually where our hearts are actually flying over for example right here it covers the title entirely we want to drag in our new title and actually delete the uh, the last part of the other title and in this title we'll just change it to something different subscribe to the channel for more all right so uh, right here all right, so let's do a preview. And I think we've got it. And of course, we want to speed up our hearts a little bit more. They are very, very slow. So what we'll do is just go to the wind um, 2500. There we go. And just make sure that uh, they actually fly over in time here. And there we go. We have a nice cover. Perfect. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Definitely subscribe to the channel for more. On Mondays, we produce Motion Graphic Mondays. On Fridays, we have Filmmaking Fridays. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Check out our website. We have a bunch to offer, like I said at the beginning of this video. And I'll see you boys and girls in the next one. Goodbye.